Hello, my name is Dr. Jun Kubota, a radiologist. I explain how affected sight of brain actually causes corresponding symptoms. In this case, we deal with disorder of coordination and equilibrium. This is a CT image of a patient with brain infarction. There is a low attenuation area at right cerebral hemisphere and vermis. Considering the situation and the development, right cerebral hemisphere almost corresponds to right neocerebellum. Vermis almost corresponds to paleocerebellums on both sides. Which function should be disordered when right neocerebellum and bilateral paleocerebellum are, are affected? We should choose among the following ten, which, which include consciousness as activation, promotion, inhibition, keeping tonus, and coordination as motion, pain and temperature, and gravity as perception, equilibrium as reflex, and cognition and conduction as higher brain function. We are looking up each function one by one if its tract runs the affected site. The tract of consciousness doesn't run in neocerebellum and paleocerebellum. The tract of promotion doesn't run in neocerebellum and paleocerebellum. The tract of inhibition doesn't run in neocerebellum and paleocerebellum. The tract of keeping tonus doesn't run in neocerebellum and paleocerebellum. This is the tract of co coordination. This tract is a round trip. The going route rises at the left frontal, parietal, occipital, and temporal cortex in telencephalon, relates at the left pontae nuclei in brainstem, and ends at the right neocerebellum. The coming roads, routes rises at the right neocerebellum, relates at left thalamus in diencephalon, and ends at primary motor cortex in telencephalon. As this tract runs in right neocerebellum, the lesion causes disorder of coordination on the right side of body. The tract of pain and temperature doesn't run in neocerebellum and paleocerebellum. The tract of gravity doesn't run in neocerebellum and paleocerebellum. This is the tract of equilibrium. There are two tracts which include archaeocerebellum and paleocerebellum. Each of them is a round trip. In tract including paleocerebellum, the going route rises at right spinal cord, runs in right brain stem, and ends at right paleocerebellum. The coming route rises at the right paleocerebellum, relays at the left red nucleus in brainstem, and relays at the right reticular formation in brainstem, and ends at the right spinal cord. As, the, as this tract runs in right paleocerebellum, the lesion causes disorder of equilibrium on the right side of body. As the lesion affects both sides of paleocerebellum in this case, it causes disorder of equilibrium on both sides of body. The tract of cognition doesn't run in neocerebellum and paleocerebellum. The tract of con conduction doesn't run in neocerebellum and paleocerebellum. After looking up at the 10 functions, we found that the lesion of the right neocerebellum and bilateral paleocerebellums causes disorder of coordination of the right 
and equilibrium on both sides of the body. Disordered functions, uh, disorder of coordination is expressed as limotaxia and positive finger nose test. Disorder of equilibrium is expressed as nystagmus, tranquil ataxia, and gait disturbance. Now we can reasonably explain that the affected site causes these symptoms. And that's all. Thank you for watching.